Researchers believe they may be close to perfecting a method of encouraging teeth to repair themselves, making the filling a thing of the past. The team at King's College London found a drug already tested in patients can stimulate regrowth in decayed teeth, repairing cavities naturally, without the need for a filling. We've developed a really uh, simple system, involves putting a drug on a little sponge that goes inside the tooth in the hole that the dentist made. It stimulates this natural process, which is starting to occur anyway following the damage, but it overactivates the process and so you actually get the, the big hole repaired. And the repair is a production of the natural material, the dentine. Using commercially available biodegradable collagen sponges to deliver the treatment, the team applied low doses of glycogen synthase kinase inhibitors to the tooth. They found that the sponge degraded over time and that new dentine replaced it, leading to complete, natural repair. I think this is one that's so much further forward that it really could be quite exciting. And offer an alternative when we look at filling materials that are currently available. We're looking at an agreed phase down of silver amalgam, the silver fillings that we have in our teeth. And some of the other composite alternatives, whilst very good, um, have question marks over them as well. So actually regrowing uh, the tooth that's been lost with the cavity would be really a huge step forward. But it's also important that we remember that we're taught we shouldn't be getting the cavity in the first place. We're talking about a totally preventable disease. The important thing to us is that this drug has been in patients. So there is safety data to show that what side effects from the, the doses that were used uh, and delivered into the bloodstream. We are using much smaller doses and we're delivering them locally, just in a tooth. Um, and so the hope is that, that's that that kind of safety data that's been obtained with very high concentrations, given repeatedly into the bloodstream, will put us in a very good position to go along to the regulator authorities and say, look, this drug's already had all this safety data. This is the concentration we're using. This is how we're delivering it. Um, and uh, our hope is that that will accelerate um, the time that we can get this into a clinical trial and, and, and get it into patients. The research does not mean the end of the dreaded drill just yet as dentists still need to remove any infected or decaying dentine and create a hole for the sponge to be inserted into. As yet, no way of regrowing the thin layer of enamel that protects the dentine.